Bits and Bytes, June 4th, 2023. A federal judge in Tennessee has ruled that a state law limiting public drag show performances represented an unconstitutional restriction on the freedom of speech. Donald Trump called the ruling asinine and wondered aloud, who the fuck appointed this judge? I did. Oops. Hundreds of journalists at Gannett, the nation's largest newspaper chain, plan to stage a one-day strike during the media company's annual shareholder meeting. What's a newspaper? asked everybody under 30. Nikki Haley's new strategy to take down Trump and DeSantis. In order to win, Haley needs to be more of an insane hypocrite than Trump, while being twice as offensive to minorities and a majority of average Americans than DeSantis and so homophobic that the average voter would assume she is in the closet with something to hide. The Atlanta City Council voted to approve $31 million for a cop city, a sprawling police and fire training complex. 31 mil? Really? To train a bunch of shitheads who won't even learn the laws they're supposed to enforce. I can go down to the local Gold's gym and find a bunch of toxically aggressive failed former athletes with a chip on their shoulder and something to prove for a couple hundred bucks. IOC gives resounding thumbs up to Paris Olympic plans. In addition to Paris' current sports facilities, the IOC members were swayed by a giant bag of cash.